Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. And if you want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. We are now going to add a nice amount of white space around the outside of the text. So come with me and we'll select the table and then make our way up to the Layout tab. From here, Cell Margins, and we're going to set our margins to 0.2 centimeters. Now I'm just pressing my Tab key to move through each of the boxes here. You can click into them if you want to, and reset to 0.2. Go ahead and click onto OK, and now you will see we've got a generous amount of white space around our table text. And in my opinion, the table already looks so much better. However, it's lacking color. So in this lesson, we will look at how applying shading and border styles to a table can quickly add a bit of sparkle. Right, make sure you are clicked into the table so that you can see the tab and then come with me up to the table design tab. And this is where you can create a custom look for your table using shading and border options. You can also use table styles down here. These allow you to quickly apply shading and borders at the same time using a predefined style. So let's start here looking at these predefined styles in the table styles gallery. Something I absolutely love about this option is that you can hover your mouse over each of the styles to preview how it would look should you apply it to your table. So I'm just going to mouse over some of these options and look at that. So you can have a lot of fun trying out the different styles before you settle on one you like. To see the full gallery, you just click the more button down here. And just scroll to have a look at the different options available. Now the only thing about this is if you mouse over one of these, it's actually quite difficult to see how it's applied to your table because the gallery's over your table. So let's just click away from here onto your table. And let's go up and we'll use the spinners instead, so these top arrows. So I'll just go down a couple of clicks until we find this option here. Now I'm just going to hover over it, I'm not clicking on it, I'm just making my way over to this option here. Now, if we were to click this design, as you can see, a number of presets will be applied. For example, applying this style will change the border and shading formats, font formats and paragraph formats, and some of our layout formats such as our cell margin settings. So this means any formats that we had prior to applying the style may now be replaced, and as you can see, our cell margin settings will be removed. Now if you haven't applied any formats to your table prior to applying a style, you'll be fine. Just click to apply the style and then you can make any formats you need after. However, if you have made changes, when you apply the style, right click the style instead. So I'm clicking the right mouse button and from here I'm now going to go apply and maintain formatting. And there you go. That will save you a heap of reformatting. So that one tip is a massive time saver. Right, over here, this area here, we have the table styles options. These are preset with the style too. You can check and uncheck anything you like here to customize your table. Now as you can see, the first column setting has applied bold to the text in our first column. So all the way down here, you can see it's nice and bold. But if we didn't want that, you can see this option up here, first column, Remove the check mark and look, no more bold, very easy. Now if at this point you decided you didn't want a nice sparkly table and you wanted to return to the normal grid look, you can come up here, back to the table styles, and the table grid style up here will take you back to that normal table grid look. So I'll just right click, maintain formatting, and look, we're back where we started. Or if you would like to clear all formats from the more drop down arrow over here, you can go down to clear. I'm just going to go ahead and click onto that. Now when you clear styles from a table, you may no longer see the table borders, which isn't massively helpful. <laughs> so let's do this. Come with me to the layout tab 
and then come right across the ribbon, right to the left, and click onto View Grid Lines. Now the wee dashed lines you can see are the edges of your table. They don't print, but they do allow you to easily continue to work in the table. So good, right? Now that you can see the borders, you can see that when we cleared the formatting, unfortunately, Word cleared our margins too, and reset the paragraph spacing back to the default setting. So be aware that you may need to do a bit of reformatting again if you use the clear option. So let's reset our margins again. So we'll just make our way up to here, layout, cell margins, 0.2, tab down, or you can click into it, 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 .2, and 0.2, OK. And we will remove the default paragraph spacing using this quick option up here. Of course, you know you could go into the paragraph dialog box, but we can do it here as well. So I'm just going to drop that down. And that looks better. OK, let's click into our table so that we can see our tabs and head back to the table design tab. And let's have a play with the shading and border options over here in this area over here. Now you can easily apply shading to a single cell, entire rows or the entire table. So let's just select the top row up here and make our way over to shading. And you can be as creative as you like. You don't need to follow along with me, OK? But I'm just going to apply this nice orange accent here. And then I will make my way down to the third row down. And I'm going to go back to the gallery up here and maybe just use this lighter orange here. And there we go. And just really quickly, if you needed to remove shading, just go to No Color. Don't do white, OK? Go to No Color and that will remove it for you. But I do want that, so I'm going to go and pop it back on again. Right, over here in the Borders group, over here, you can use a preset border style from the Border Styles options here. And just select a style that you like from here. And when you do that, it will apply the Line Style, the Line Weight, and the Line Color. However, you can change these options to anything that you would like. So for example, if I wanted to select a different Line Style, I can come in here and grab that line style and then change my weight in here and of course if I wanted to change the color I can change it from here as well but we'll keep it as it is. Now you will see that your mouse is now loaded with the border painter and you can see that the border painter option is turned on up here and it's very simple if I now want to select or apply that border style I can just click onto the border where I want it to be applied. So I'm just going to go up and change that to this option here and change the weight again. And I'm going to do the same down on this bottom border. And you have to be quite precise when you're clicking. So there we go. Now because I've got multiple cells, you see that I can click on each one and apply that option. Let's just go up here. I'm just going to change the border style and change the weight. And just go and paint along the bottom of here. You can try clicking and dragging too. And there you go. Right, I'm just going to turn the border painter off. Now you can also select the entire table and use your borders option up here. So make sure that you have the correct options set on here before you do this. So I'm just going to go and change that line weight. And we'll maybe go around about here, three quarters. Back to borders. And I'm going to do an inside horizontal border. There we go. And of course that's allowed me to apply it very quickly without having to paint each one of those lines. Here's another thing you can do. You can go no border. And if you want to, you can then, using your border painter, you can remove borders from your table as well. Let's go across here. And there we go. Oops, I've just realized that one of my borders needs to be reset. So let's go up and reset. Let's go in here and grab and pop that thicker row back where we want it again. There we go. Okay, now come with me to the Layout tab and turn your grid lines off. And now you can see how your table is going to look. At this point, I'm really happy with the borders and the shading. A couple of things I would probably go ahead and change here. I would most likely do a little bit of bold maybe here. 
on those phone numbers in the second row and of course I would change my font here to be white and I would probably bold it and make it a little bit bigger as well. And there you go. Look at that. In just a few clicks, you can have a great looking table. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.